we want to find the quotient and remainder using synthetic division. Looking at the notes below, to set up for synthetic division, we need a row of the coefficients here inside the table, and then the value of k on the outside, where the divisor is in the form of x minus k. So looking at our dividend, notice how we have a degree four dividend. We need the terms to be in descending order, and notice right now we don't have an x squared term, which means we need to include a zero x squared term. So looking at this quotient, we need to think of the dividend as one x to the fourth plus seven x cubed plus zero x squared and then minus 23 x minus 10. And the divisor is x plus two. If we had to write x plus two using subtraction, we need to recognize that x plus two is equivalent to x minus negative two, which means k is going to be negative two. So let's place the value of k outside the table, and now we'll list the coefficients inside the table, which are one, seven, zero, negative 23, and negative 10. Notice when the divisor has addition, k is negative. If we had subtraction, k would be positive. And now to begin the process of synthetic division, we begin by bringing down the first coefficient of one, and then on the diagonal, we multiply by k and place that value in the next column, and vertically we add. So one times k or one times negative two is negative two. We place negative two on the diagonal or in the next column, and then we add vertically. Seven plus negative two is positive five, and now we multiply by k again. Five times negative two is negative 10. We place negative 10 in the next column, and then we add. Zero plus negative 10 is negative 10, Multiply by k, and negative 10 times negative two is positive 20. Add negative 23 plus 20 is negative three. Multiply by k, negative three times negative two is positive six. Place positive six in the next column, and add. This last row indicates the quotient and the remainder. Starting from the right, we have the remainder, the constant term, the coefficient of the x term, the coefficient of the x squared term, and the coefficient of the x cubed term. We can also remember that if we have a degree four polynomial and we divide by a degree one polynomial, four minus one is equal to three, the quotient will be a degree three polynomial. So again, our quotient is going to be one x cubed or x cubed plus five x squared minus 10 x minus three, and the negative four is the remainder. I also want to mention sometimes the final result is expressed in a slightly different way where we have the quotient of x cubed plus five x squared minus 10 x minus three, and then because the remainder is negative four, we sometimes write minus four over the divisor of x plus two. So depending on your textbook, you may express the final result in this form or the quotient and remainder separately. I hope you found this helpful.